What is resistance to change in an organization? Well, generally, resistance to change comes in various levels. There's active resistance, where someone actively fights against change that's taking place. There's passive resistance, where an individual simply takes a lackadaisical approach to whatever is required as part of the change. They may not fully invest themselves in their work, or they may secretly try to undermined the change by not taking part in some way, uh, then there's compliance. That is, you you do what you're told and you go along with the change. And then there's enthusiastic support. And that's where you become a vocal supporter of the change. You defend it against challenges, that type of thing. Now, the reasons for any level of resistance to change generally comes in one of five forms. There's the fear of disruption, that it's going to mess up the order of things and how things are currently running. Uh, some people just have a personality where change does not agree agree with them. They simply don't like it. Uh, it can come with feelings of uncertainty. That is, you don't understand it and it leaves you a bit confused. There's a fear of loss of uh, power in the uh, organization. That is, you no longer have responsibilities that you did before. Perhaps you feel like your role is being uh, made obsolete or obviated. And then there's the fear of failure, the belief that perhaps you can't change, you can't meet the expectations, so then again you resist it. So the extent to which any of these are present and the extent to which it translates into some level of resistance is based upon two factors. Generally, the extent to which the change personally impacts you, if it's highly severe versus, versus not, can affect the extent to which you're willing to demonstrate a level of resistance. And then the prevalence of the change. How broad is the effect? Is it affecting a lot of people together, whereby your actions cannot in any way undermine or defeat the change? Or is it just focused on you? Again, these factors will exacerbate the reasoning behind why you're resistant to change and can ultimately uh, influence your actions or attitude towards uh, how you handle the change.